In this how-to video, we will be reviewing a step-by-step -step process for designing a presenter-controlled system for presentation rooms. Properly designed presentation systems enhance the presenter's ability to connect with their students and attendees. In order to properly design and implement a presenter-controlled system, it is critically important to meet with the customer on site to determine their expectations and needs. Here is a list of main things to understand and review during the consultation. Review the current or planned presentation room design. Note all existing and future presentation tools to be used in the room, examples being whiteboards, podiums, computers, audio systems, etc. Is there any equipment that may be mobile and moved around easily? Be aware of window and door locations. Identify any sources of ambient light. Define all room dimensions, height, width, and length. Identify the locations of all pre-existing items in the room. Locate any and all other architectural items including columns, posts, and railings. Measure and create a simple room drawing or reference the existing room plans. Define the various types of presentations to be given in the room to help determine how the room will be used. Define the various styles of presenters using the room and how they might present using the presentation area and tools. It is important to understand the various styles of the different presenters using the room. You could have a presenter that is standing at a podium, constantly walking around, or even someone who will be sitting or using a wheelchair. Discuss the experience levels of the presenters. Who will be using the room? This will help determine the type of presentation controls. Define how students and audience members will be included. Will there be a need for student-to-teacher interaction during the presentations? Coordinate with the builders and architects involved. Once the customer's overall presentation needs and functionality have been determined, you now have a starting point to begin your design. In the past, most of us were or are still familiar with a wide shot of a room. This can be quite boring and very hard to follow. The presenter is hard to see and there's no interaction between the workstations. The demand for a narrow shot of the presenter came shortly after to be able to see the presenter up close and personal. The only problem with this shot is the presenter would walk off camera as they utilized other workstations. Presets were once again added so when the presenter would leave the fixed position, they would be seen at another location once they activated a programmed preset. Then we wanted to see the presenter at all times without walking off camera and not having to use any presets or other devices. Camera tracking was designed to follow the presenter no matter where they go and what they are doing without the use of an operator. Once you have camera tracking, you can add in presets to allow for a wider variety of fixed positions at different workstations. When leaving the preset, the camera automatically goes back into the tracking mode where you are once again being followed. You can have camera tracking, presets, and multiple content sources for a fully automated presentation area without ever having to worry about walking out of the shot or how to present your training materials. This shows you how far we have come since the wide shot. Presenting has never been easier or more interactive to an audience. To have a successful design, you need to understand all the necessary equipment needed for the presenter to present their content and where the equipment will be used most effectively. Creating a list of presenter-controlled system design parameters will help when deciding on a successful design layout. Parameters to consider include presentation content sources. What presentation content sources will be used and where? There are different ways that a presenter can deliver their content other than verbalizing it. They can utilize technology to help them deliver this information. Presentation workstations. What types of workstations will be used and in what locations? In any given room where there is a presentation area, you will have to have some sort of workstation or area to organize your materials where you will present your content. Triggers. Which triggers will be utilized for switching sources at different workstations? With the help of technology to deliver content, you may want to access other sources like a website on your laptop or a different camera angle of a student wanting to ask a question. Presentation cameras. What types of cameras will be needed and where? Placement of the cameras used in a presentation is very important, especially for a distance learning application or lecture capture. You want to make sure the presenter will be on camera as much as possible. List location or locations of your presenter cameras. Will there be an audience interaction? Will the presentation area be large enough to place cameras on the sides of the room for a wider range position? Is camera tracking needed? How will you be utilizing camera preset positions? 
picture-in-picture -picture display. Determine if it is necessary to keep the presenter visible on camera at all times, even when switching through different sources. Microphones. Do the students or audience members want to be seen and heard during the presentation? Classroom video display. Determine the types and sizes of classroom video displays for your room. You may also want to consider a confidence display monitor for the presenters to see themselves and know what the far end is seeing during a video conferencing call, distance learning, or lecture capture application. A presenter-controlled system needs a brain to run all the switching and connect all the sources together. Vadio has two different products that allow for this control, the Auto Presenter and the Control View XHD. The Auto Presenter features these key points. Switch up to six cameras or content sources, storing up to 72 presets, compatible with Vadio, Panasonic, Sony, and Canon robotic PTZ cameras. Picture-in-picture -picture display. Input triggers for presets, presenter pod, touch view, step view mats, auto view IR sensors, and mic view. The Control View XHD features these key points. Switches up to six cameras or content sources, storing up to 72 camera presets. Compatible with Vadio, Panasonic, Sony, and Canon robotic PTZ cameras. Input triggers for presets, presenter pod, touch view, step view mats, auto view IR sensors, and mic view. We have covered a lot of information and options to consider when designing a presenter controlled system. You now have the ability to design and understand what is needed for a successful presenter controlled system installation. If you need help in your design, visit www.vadio.com to find out more about the presenter controlled systems and other Vadio products or contact our sales department. Mm -hmm.